Welcome back to PA Live. It was fashion's biggest night the first Monday in May and one of the Internet's favorite pop culture events of the entire year, the Met Gala. And the Met Gala, the biggest and brightest celebrities took to the iconic steps of the Metropolitan Museum of Art last night in New York City to show off their looks. That's right. The dress code, of course, Garden of Time. And in case you missed it, we'll recap everything mm -hmm. you need to know just using the four co-chairs of the night. Of course, that's Zendaya, Jennifer Lopez, Bad Bunny, and Chris Hemsworth. Ooh. Media thoughts to these co-chair looks. I mean, what a lineup. Yeah. I, Jennifer Lopez, I, she looks the best I think I've ever seen her look. She's so good. And I did hear some facts about this dress. Do you want me to share them? We're gonna this get, is, this I is wanna, my only fact. We're going to get to her close-up. Wait till we get to her close-up. And, she, and um, uh, Chris Hemsworth, I mean. It's handsome. Beautiful, Incredible. the white suit, love it. Let's, let's start yeah. with Zendaya. Let's, okay, She's like the talk it. of the town right now. She oh. wore Maison, Margiela, and John Galliano. So mm. both of these looks are her. On the, the first one here is what she arrived in. We thought this was her look. Then she came in the Givenchy Ooh. couture to end the night. So she started the carpet, ended the carpet with this new look, with an, a look that references the past. And I think this is what sure. the Met Gala is all about. She yeah. like pulls out all the stops. What and are your immediate thoughts Really, here? if you look at her, like she embodies a character with each one of these outfits, right? True. Her face is a little bit different each time walking around too. Mm -hmm. She's, I mean, really just pulling off the entire look, which yeah. I think is really amazing. Um, both stunning looks, totally different though. Right. I love it's that like there's a, a costume change. There's you know what not, I mean? Yeah. That's a good point. She like really takes that and embodies the character of whatever she's wearing. And she kind of represented for us the dark side of this mm. Garden of mm -hmm. Time theme. Everything is a little witchy, a little mystical, still referencing nature and everything, but definitely with this darker approach, which became a theme of the night. We've got some other examples just to show you some of the darker kind of themes that were going okay. on. I'm sure you saw some some of these on the carpet. Sure. Oh, yes. But see, it's like you wouldn't yeah. think garden at first, but it definitely fits within the theme, almost like the, the wicked character. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. all very exaggerated, which I love. Yeah, Everybody beautiful. looked great. Beautiful. Okay, next, your favorite of the night. I know. Jennifer Lopez in Scaparelli, designed by Daniel Roseberry. I mean, this is gorgeous. What are our facts? What Stunning. do you know? So the facts that I found out about this dress, interestingly enough, 2,500 beads that were hand-placed to create this look for her. It took 800 man hours to make that happen. Can you? That is incredible to think about. How to take that time to do, I don't even want to do something like get dressed in three minutes, you know? So no, the I fact know. that that happened to put that together and just look how stunning she is. I mean, she, yeah. iconic. It's so, gorgeous. So, so good. Yeah. So, so good. And she, of course, has this like sc sculptural detail on the top representing branches and other like yeah. supernatural elements, which also was a big theme to the night, this sculptural element. We saw this quite a bit here, just a few examples. Sure. Lana Del Rey with like the tree and the mm -hmm. canopy kind of look. I love Demi Moore. These are just some good takes yeah. on the theme. There's a lot that you can do with it. And how interesting that all these like canopy looks, most of them are a little bit lighter too, like mm -hmm. neutral tones as opposed to that dark witchy look that the other ones have. We saw a lot yeah. of that for sure. Yeah. Bad Bunny did a darker look as well. Mm -hmm. He was also in custom John Galliano for Maison Margiela. He was kind of go going like Matt, I don't know, yeah. another like character for sure. And we had some elevated menswear looks throughout the night that were interesting mm -hmm. to find. I always love when a guy comes in something other than a tux, which is what True. the Met Gala is all about. True. So any standouts, I know we have some more examples yeah. of the oh, menswear yeah. as well. Look at Dan Levy. Right? Wow, I love that. And kind Lil Nas X cool looking way. really cool too. Yeah, I like to that. Lean, I know people are like anticipating the men's fashion a little mm -hmm. bit more each mm -hmm. year. Chris Hemsworth was definitely on the safer side, but he looked incredible sure. in Tom Ford alongside his wife. They were both in Tom Ford for this event. Pretty, he went kind of classic. Mm -hmm. Again, it's you could kind of wear this yeah. to any event, but if you look like Chris Hemsworth, I think you I, get the pass. I think it's okay. Right? And he did do like the greenish gardeny color. It's, yeah. it's a little tinted. It's working. Ish, I don't know. But he yeah, can wink it's, at it's us all again. day long. But he kind of represented this classic kind of wispy, ethereal beauty with these light colors. Gorgeous. And we saw a lot of this as well. Some of my favorites of the night looked very fairy, mm -hmm. very floral. I think Phoebe looked incredible. So some yeah. some of my tops for the night as well. Yeah, I think you you nailed it. What, well done. And plus you Thank said you. all the designers' names. And that, you get points for that too. So. Margiela. Huh? <laughs> it's fun. Yeah, that was a double dip. So I got two for one on that one. <laughs> but it's always fun. I look forward to red carpets like this. And this is like the big one of the night. Yeah. So if you made it through my entire Instagram story last night. Thank you. I'll be doing it again next year. Welcome. <laughs> Stick with us. We're going to be wrapping up today's PA Live right after the break.